everybody. So I thought I'd jump on here and um, do a quick tutorial on how you can install McAfee Mobile Security for iOS for those of you that have an iPhone. Um, although the iPhone does come with some pretty um, good security features, um, McAfee does offer some great um, additional security functions that many of us would uh, definitely be interested in having. So all you're gonna do, um, as most of you actually, let me go back out of here. Most of you probably already know you have an app store icon. It's the blue one here with the letter A. I'm gonna open that up. All you're gonna do is go into your search bar, type in McAfee, and mine popped up pretty much the second to the last one so i'm going to click on get mobile it's the mcafee mobile security um, icon i have a touch id installed hopefully most of you are using that it's actually a pretty cool feature nobody can access um, your apps download anything without your um, fingerprint so if you haven't set it up yet please look into doing that it's a great option for those of you that have that on your iphones Okay, so that was a pretty quick download. Um, I'm gonna click open. And then this is your welcome message. I'm gonna get started. By the way, this is a free app. They do have some premium subscriptions, um, sub different subscription plans, but they do have a free version, which is what I'm gonna be installing here. Um, okay, so looks like everything is pretty much all set up and ready to go, you can register. All you need is a McAfee account. All I did was just scroll up. Um, if you want to register for an account, I'm going to see what it lets me do when I click the scan. All I did was click that white shield at the top. It's scanning my system for threats. Scanning my Wi-Fi for threats. This is really cool. <gasps> It said one threat was found. Let's see, system software not up to date. Okay, yeah. So I already know that. I got an alert actually yesterday or this morning that I needed to um, install my iOS update. So I'm gonna be doing that probably after I get off of this. Everything else looks good. Okay, so I'm just gonna click my back button here. As you see, they have all kinds of cool stuff. Um, there's some things you'll need to upgrade to see. I'm going to go back out of the app. I want to show you something on the app store. I'm going to make this real quick because I'd like it to be a shorter video. Um, but if you click on the actual app to see what's on here and you scroll, you kind of open it up and scroll down, it'll tell you what comes free, what comes with the free version. Oops, excuse me. I went too far down. Click on more and scroll down. These are the paid one. They, they talk about the paid um, additions, but if you scroll down to about the middle, it talks about the free features. So in the app, when you are just wanting to use it for free, you get system a system security scan, a secure Wi-Fi scan where um, it'll basically alert you if you're connecting to an unsecured Wi-Fi hotspot that might be compromised. Media Vault, that's probably my favorite one there. Um, it lets you hide private photos in a locked photo vault behind a secure pin. Um, I haven't figured out how to do that with my iPhone um, and I do have some pictures on there that I prefer for, you know, not, to, not just to be available to anybody that picks up my phone. You know, my daughter likes to use my phone. My son likes to use my phone. So that's even good for personal use here at the house. Um, anti-theft protection. Oh, this is really cool. Um, it can be, you can basically set off an, a remote alarm to locate your lost or stolen phone. Um, you can do it from your Apple watch. I believe you can even do it from the computer. If you create an account and log in, um, you can take a picture. The The app will take a picture of the person that has your phone. So I think you might have seen some commercials. Um, for those of you that keep up with this stuff, you might have even seen commercials where that has happened. And like where it says, secure your private media if your device is stolen and use the app to catch the intruder. You can receive an email with a photo of the intruder and your device's GPS location. That is awesome. Remotely wipe contacts and clean your device if your iPhone or iPad is lost or stolen. Backup, it, it has a backup for your contacts and all kinds of cool stuff for the premium paid plans, of course. Um, I got a pretty good deal on my premium paid plan for up to 10 computers and devices, so uh, I haven't put it on my iPhone yet or my Mac. 
So I'll probably do that after the tutorial. So hopefully you gain some value out of this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go back over to my app just to show you again. Um, anything that you need to upgrade for, you'll see that it does show you'll need to, you know, safe web is an upgrade option. Wi-Fi guard is an uh, upgrade option. You can back up your contacts here with a little cloud on the red arrows if you want to back up your contacts. I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, Media Vault. Let's see what that looks like. Just need to set it up if you're not already registered. Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. I hope you all enjoyed this short tutorial and I'll be posting more soon. Thanks.